Hi there. In this video we're going to take a look at how to interpret cumulative frequency diagrams. So, here we have a cumulative frequency diagram uh, from a previous video which was the check-in times at an airport and I'm asked to work out the number of people that are waiting less than 25 minutes to check in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my <coughs> line tool and I'm going to come to 25 minutes which is right here and draw a line uh, up to the diagram and then across and the figure I see here is 30 people so up and across I can see that there's 30 people are waiting less than 25 minutes if I want to know the number of people that are waiting more than 35 minutes uh, we're gonna it's a similar type question I'm going to go to 35 minutes, go read up to where we cross our line and across, and we get, I make that out to be roughly 59, so that's 59, but that's the number of people waiting less than 35 minutes. I can see from my diagram right up here that the total number of people was 120. So the number of people waiting more than 35 minutes is going to be found by doing 120, take away the 59. And 120, take away 59, gives us 61. So 61 people are waiting more than 35 minutes to check in. Uh, we're asked to find the number of people waiting between 15 and 35 minutes. So again, we go to 15 on the bottom, read up and across, then go to 35 minutes, read up and across, and what I can see is we have let's see we've got 60 people waiting less than 35 minutes we've got 10 people waiting less than 15 minutes so the number of people between 15 and 35 minutes is going to be found by doing 60 take away 10 and 60 take away 10 is 50 so 50 people are waiting between 15 and 35 minutes if I want to find the median check-in time, I need to find where the middle person would be. Well, if there's 120 people, that means the middle person will be roughly around the 60th person. So I can read across and down. And across and down, we get 35 minutes. So the median waiting time is 35 minutes in my NS. And how about the interquartile range? Well, if there's 120 people in total, the upper quartile is going to be found at the 80th person. I beg your pardon, the 90th person. Um, let me just clarify that. So we had our, the median was here at 60. So that was our median. And like I've said before in previous videos, the upper quartile is the median of the upper half of the data. So the middle part of this bit up here is found at 90. So that's our upper quartile. So read across and down. The lower quartile is the median of the lower half of the data which is going to be 30 so 10 20 30 here so again read across and down and let's get those figures out so the upper quartile was I make that out to be roughly 45 minutes the lower quartile is roughly 25 minutes so we'll do 45 take away 25 and that gives us 20 minutes 
and they're just some of the things you could be asked to do with a cumulative frequency diagram so why don't you have a go here's another cumulative frequency diagram if you've printed the notes off the website you can uh, just use the diagram straight away to answer these questions so pause the video and give it a go okay hopefully you've had a go at those questions here are the solutions so mark your work see how you did and um, that's it for cumulative frequency diagrams hopefully you found the video useful best of luck with the revision and I'll talk to you again sometime